This is the NYC iSchool and we're working on something completely new. It's a new approach to education. It's innovative. It's transformative. It's a futuristic program. And it's cool to be the first student of iSchool. Chancellor Klein decided in the beginning of his second term to open seven new small selective high schools. And he decided that one of these schools would be about rethinking high school for the 21st century and using technology to do this. When we accepted the challenge to start the iSchool, we really wanted to rethink every assumption that people have about this is how high school is done. First and foremost is creating an environment that really understands adolescents and understands what they need at every stage of their development over the next four years. Adolescents want to do work that's important and that has relevance to the world. They're interested in having their voices and ideas heard. Our students do learning modules, which are the big idea courses. They're interdisciplinary, problem-based instruction, where kids are really engaging with the big ideas that exist in our society. We wanted to make sure that students had the opportunity to learn in, in meaningful and real ways, um, and that sort of comes out through our interdisciplinary problem-based modules. I don't want anyone to ever walk into the iSchool and say that what they see is technology. This isn't about being a showplace for technology. It's about teaching kids in a better way. We really recognized that we couldn't just talk technology. We had to talk instruction and technology at the same time. And this was also a very, very different mindset change for DIIT operations. We believe the process of students interacting is really important, and our school is really about students learning from interacting with themselves and with the teacher and with experts, and we had to have teachers that really bought into that. The new technologies give us a fantastic opportunity to extend the learning experiences, enrich the learning experiences of the students. Kids are doing things outside the school that simply, at this point, we can't ignore and we can't hold back anymore. We've got to be able to, you know, welcome those tools into the school and take advantage of them and leverage them in the right way. In New York City school system over the years to come, mobility is going to be a key aspect, okay, in supporting education. The ability of students to basically carry laptops from class to class, uh, to congregate in common areas in the school, and to collaborate on learning are going to be key. We wanted this online collaborative space where kids could go and interact with teachers, interact with field experts, track their progress, have parents track their progress, have teachers track their progress. Always analyzing where kids are and pushing them to move forward. They're pushing you to do your best, you know? So I feel like I would be more, I would be ahead of everybody else because I've been pushed so I can push the limits, you know, I can achieve more. Students can progress uh, with their studies at their own pace. Uh, it's much more interactive with the students and the students are also learning to use um, those um, components of online learning that they're expected to learn in future undergraduate and graduate studies. Students can access their desktop from any computer anywhere connected to the internet. They're looking at their own computer in the school with all their files and all of the software the teachers need them to have. Uh, they like the fact that they can access their homework, their notes, everything uh, from their school life at home as well. Um, it's a part of their lives now. It's not just something that they leave behind. We have our own homepage and then we go to our courses online. And so like if we go on, on Intricate Algebra, we can do it here and we can do our work here. And also when we go home, we can do it at home. So that's, that's, awesome. that's pretty awesome. The computer from home is also helpful because the teacher, such as Dr. K, he has like little quotes next to it like, okay, you got this answer correct because, or you got it incorrect because, and if you take notes, it helps you in the future. During lunch, the kids are grabbing laptops and sitting in a classroom. During their studies halls, they're sitting in, a, in the commons using the laptops. And what's amazing about it is that the kids have seemed to be taking it to the next level. We are the future. We're going to be using more technology than we are going to be using textbooks. So this prepares us 
for the future. We're teaching them how to learn and how to struggle with ideas and um, how to be critical and creative, logical thinkers, that those are skills that they actually want and need to be successful in life. When we finally decided what the technologies were that we were gonna grow into this school, we did it in a way to make sure this would be leverageable across the enterprise, across the other 1,500 schools where appropriate, because we didn't want this to be a one-off. What we can do is work individually with school leaders to see what we have here that will fit in with their school environment and their school culture and help them figure out a plan to build it. And that we can successfully do. That's our mission and we can do that. We have to meet the challenge of being able to monitor all our schools, monitor the IT in the schools, be able to proactively identify if there are problems and then proactively from a remote location be able to fix those problems so that a teacher can walk into a classroom and 30 kids can log on and get ready to learn. We came to Cisco and to DIIT and sort of said this is the vision and I know what I need to have in the classrooms for kids to use, and I need you guys to, to make it a reality. And I cannot tell you what an amazing job they did um, bringing our vision to a reality. What's been most helpful um, in terms of our partnership with Cisco is sort of the exposure they're able to give us to what's possible. So we can sort of say, these, are, these have been our challenges as educators, and so how do you in the business world deal with this? How do you manage it? And how have you used technology? Our kids need different skills to be successful in college and to be successful when they graduate from college. And we are not doing our jobs if we don't take that charge and embrace it. Um, and technology is a piece of that. And more importantly, technology enables us to teach those skills in a more efficient and effective way.